How's everyone doing today, friends? How's your bros here? And we're playing a set of course at Competizione ACC. More specifically, we're enjoying a GT4 pack DLC, which just recently came out. I think it adds a lot of value to the game, and I'm looking forward to sharing a review video uh, sometime this week. And just for now, I kind of wanted to uh, do a do a fun race in addition to what we've done previous previously. So we're gonna do a night race at Suzuka, Japan, and we'll drive uh, Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport. This car is a lot of fun to drive, and Suzuka is an awesome circuit. We'll have, um, let's do a 10 minute race. I think 10 minutes uh, is, is enough to really share what the game looks like in VR. I can only share positive stuff about the GT4 DLC. It's, it's really cool, it's really fun to play. Graphics are great. Um, every car feels very different. It, I can tell they invested a lot of time and energy into it, and I'm just happy to share it with you, friends. Stay double file. There you go. First gear. My favorite thing about this DLC is, first of all, it introduces GT4. GT4 cars. Um, some of them overlap with GT3 cars, obviously. Uh, they're different. They're, they feel a bit slower. Uh, they have a lot more assists included, so GT4 cars feel a lot more noob-friendly, and uh, it's easier for me to learn the track layout with a GT4 car. But uh, you can also tell how GT4 car cars progressed through the years by driving a 2016 Maserati Gran Turismo you will seriously be blown away how difficult it is to drive that car after you drive a more modern GT4 car. Those assists actually kick in, you know? You don't lock up your brakes like that, and you get some traction control. I'm just uh, circling through those camera views. Green light, go, go, go. All right, green light. Alright, our difficulty is at 89, uh, and I and I boosted, um, what do you call it, uh, aggressiveness uh, of, the left. of the AI, the left. and it should be a bit more interesting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna own the race by any means. It's uh, it's gonna be slightly difficult. At at anything below 90%, I think I can't set the best lap time and qualify on pole. But I kind of wanted to be in the midst of action, you know, being surrounded by cars. Oh my god, we almost uh, hit the bumper of the other car. And you know, b bumping into other cars can basically spin your car and your race will be over. Right, braking slightly early and harder than I would have if I was racing. I don't feel like I'm racing just yet. We're just trying to see how the pack unfolds. Just before filming this video, I drove an Audi R8, and that car feels so different to drive than the Porsche I'm driving right now. You know, uh, obviously graphics, the interior of the car, the way the gearbox works, the way you shift the gears, audio, everything is different and it's unique. You kind of feel like you have a relationship with the car you're driving in. It's awesome, I haven't experienced that in a while. I would say uh, GT4 pack, as I, as I just mentioned, is noob friendly. It's nice for newer drivers to experience what GT4 is really like. And I really wish more people got to enjoy it. I think GT4 I find it uh, more fun than uh, GT3 um, because I can just feel like I'm Car on the left. I'm good. Oh boy, Be that was left. that was lucky. Okay, let's see if we can overtake. Car on the right. We got a better corner exit, that's for sure. But he's got the inside line. Alright, right. Right, he gave up. You kind of have to be careful how uh, you're braking through a corner. Your car can actually spin too. 
the brakes. I mean, you can you can kind of tell how brakes work, and that's nice. You do a lot of braking in these uh, in the first section of the track. A lot of similar twists to the right, to the left. Kind of makes me feel like we're at the Circuit of the Americas. It's super narrow, though. You kind of have to keep it together. Looks like our teammate is up ahead. And they're struggling with the car ahead of them, too. Oh, man, we barely kept the car on the track. Yeah, and we exceeded track limits. I disabled uh, penalties because I know I'm going to uh, pick a few. Oh, no, that's not our teammate. That's just uh, a similar livery. That's a Mercedes. Okay. Never mind. My, one of my goals is to finally practice enough uh, of racing in, in wet conditions and I'll finally I'll finally race in rain. Right. You're on the right. Oh boy. That was a risky maneuver. But it paid off. It's also nice to have the VR port in this game. I feel like uh, it's nice to be able right. to experience the same game in VR. You're on the right. I think I was about to crash into that driver. The AI just saved our race. Alright, time to start braking. I feel more control in this Porsche versus Audi. Maybe we could have left the difficulty at 90. Yeah, Audi is... Uh, it's a boxster, it's kind of easier for me to maneuver around. Um, Audi R8, it's awesome, but it's uh, it's a difficult car to drive, and it's kind of interesting how you can say it from a video game. That game, that car is hard to drive. For context, like, I drive Formula 1 cars without assists in F1 2020. Not trying to show off, but at least uh, I, I could be a good reference point. Here I feel like GT4 experience has been a little bit arcadey for me compared to the things you have to worry about in a Formula 1 car. But it's not a bad thing. Um, oh boy! <clears throat> we screwed up. Come on guys. On the left. I seriously left the track open for you. Okay, you're on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Yeah, I know I'm slower, friends. Why didn't you just overtake? Whatever, stuff happens. That's another beauty of uh, more serious simulators. No flashbacks. I would totally use a flashback in F1 2020. I would say the weakest point of the game, as much as I like it, it's the VR port. The graphics are not so great i actually had to lower some graphics to be able to record the gameplay it's very unoptimized even when um, i'm not recording i still i can't do it in epic settings it, it lags once in a while but it's just an overall complaint at the competizione not not this dlc this dlc is great you get a you get an awesome variety of cars and you actually feel like you got something out of your money, like you got your money's worth. Maybe that's that's a better way to put it. Okay. Looks like we got a really fast corner exit and we can try to tackle this fella. What's the second time over to the left? Alright. We're breaking about now. I'm like a bit more careful through here. I notice a lot of other drivers, AI, they're they're faster through this section. I'm I'm just trying to be careful really. And there's no shame in actually breaking through here. I was trying to do it without breaking, but I feel like I can be more precise if I use the brakes just a little bit. Try to stay away from Apex. 
though. Um, something I need to work on personally. We drove off the track because I was too greedy. I was trying to squeeze as much speed out of a corner as I could, and that's generally a, a bad thing on tight tracks. You, you can't try as good as you can. You see, just like now, why did I decide to do it in the third gear? Why was I so fast? Clear on the right. Clear on the right. Jesus. What a mess. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Yeah, I feel like Mechanic is slightly slower than usual. I was about to say he's always spot on, but... Car on the right. Clear on the right. Uh, kind of wanted to break. I, I didn't feel comfortable approaching the, the corner from the outside. Maybe I should have. Probably cost me the, the, the seventh place. Yeah, I got the vultures behind me. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm not gonna mess up anymore. Alright, we're braking. Yep, looks like my tires are slightly getting out of control. I've got the final lap happening. I mean, we still gained a few positions. We started at P10, so P8 isn't too bad. But let's see if we can clinch P7 in the remaining lap. Nope, my car's tires are 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 basically not there anymore. I wonder if the tire deterioration is scaled to last. Uh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever the race length is. Yeah, because I, I don't feel I don't feel in control anymore. You see that? You see that? The thing is, our tires were gonna be gone regardless. We just. We're a little bit too greedy. That's life, though. That's life. All right, fellers. Let's just make sure we finish it clean. No, 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 no. Wow, but no left, no, no time gained though, okay. So that's why I wasn't getting penalized. Oh snap, I missed the braking marker. Well, as far as clean races go, right? I don't think we bumped into anyone. We just got off the track. Anita has finished the race. Cool beans, friends. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Alright, check it flag. Good job. You did the best you could. I'll bring the car back. Well, friends, um, that's a night race in the Seta Corsa Competizione GT4 for you. It's a lot of fun. I'm vibing right now. I'm I'm loving the game. It's uh, it's a quality DLC. Real real good material there. I'll try to put a good review together. I'm not trying to talk too much about it because I want to save some content for the review. But an overall suggestion so far, buy it. Buy it. If you've got a humble bundle account, maybe it will get posted there eventually. Maybe not. We'll see though. But uh, it's an overall jam. Out on the right. 
Oh man. Let me mess up here again. Oh. Since we're not really racing anymore. Car on the right. I like how the, right. the mechanic still talks to us. Oh wow! Three, stay away from three cars there. I was like, holy cow, guys, you were driving too close to one another. Oh, I feel like I'm uh, Mad Max from the Fury Road, you know, stuck to the... Oh, some light damage in the front of the car. <laughs> oh man, I, I ain't gonna talk anymore. I feel like I'm just messing stuff up. Well, friends, uh, on this interesting note, I think it's time to... Oh no! It's time to end our video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Good vibes only, friends. Y'all take care. I'll see you next time. Peace out, friends.